Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg on Capitol Hill in Washington warming up for two days of testimony about how user information got into the hands of a British consulting firm. His first stop, a meeting with Florida Senator Bill Nelson, who is the ranking Democrat on the Commerce Committee. CBS 4's Angelica Alvarez reports. Mark Zuckerberg arrived on Capitol Hill in a suit and tie instead of his trademark t-shirt and hoodie, beginning his visit with a closed-door meeting with Senator Bill Nelson. The Florida Democrat described the Facebook CEO as forthright and willing to fix mistakes. My sense is that he takes it seriously because he knows that there is going to be a hard look at regulation. Zuckerberg will appear before three committees on Tuesday and Wednesday to explain how political consulting firm Cambridge Analytica got hold of users' information. His opening remarks also touch on how Russians used fake accounts to influence the U.S. presidential election, saying there's no question that we should have spotted Russian interference earlier and we're working hard to make sure it doesn't happen again. Congress will be pressing for details. Mr. Zuckerberg has not exhausted himself being forthcoming. In preparation for this week's hearings, Zuckerberg has announced new privacy measures, and Facebook is now communicating directly to its users. Senator Nelson says he met with Zuckerberg for over an hour. The message I wanted to convey to him that if we don't uh, rein in the misuse of social media, none of us are going to have any privacy anymore. Would you like to see the executives from Google and Twitter and other tech companies come testify? Absolutely, because it's not just Facebook. He, he happens to be the point of the spear, uh, but all these other app sites that get your personal data, that's another way of uh, us losing our privacy. A wave of consumers has abandoned Facebook in protest. Zuckerberg's testimony may help the company win back their trust. Angelica Alvarez, CBS News, Capitol Hill. And Mark Zuckerberg begins two days of testimony on Capitol Hill tomorrow, and we will stream it for you live on CBSMiami.com and CBS Miami's Facebook page.